In this, this the U.S. Attorney Elliot McLean's case and John Hudasek. John Hudasek said, let me tell you something, son. These stupid ass white bitches that work for the U.S. government that we're going to give these three false motions to, I would dare them to try to go to Sudan and say a damn word to you between Linda's Exodus in 2025 to 2030. Sudan military will fuck them white boys in their ass, shit in their mouth, shit in their mother's mouth, shit in their kids' mouth. And you pull these three false motions that I'm bringing out, I want them to be terminated. And Judge Brooks Smith know I'm scamming. Judge Brooks Smith know he can't do anything in the case because it's a forged indictment. And if he were to try to stop Assistant Attorney Elliot McLean and I from pulling our scheme, he'd have to vacate the case. He don't want to do that because he wants to try to catch up with Raymond Skelton and Jeffrey Baldwin because Raymond Skelton defrauded the DEA when he told him he didn't have anything to do with the case. He didn't know what they were talking about. And they let him go into the lab probe, came back after 90 days speedy travel was filed, and it was too late to do anything. They couldn't file charges on Raymond Skelton because it was a forged indictment. You got to start all over again. It's a tainted evidence. You can't use them in a court of law. So the evidence was never supposed to be used in a court of law. But Judge Brooke Smith went on and not approved the suppression hearing, but he approved the illegal arrest. Therefore, you have to take it into a Rule 3, into a Rule 32 to vacate the case in the sentencing hearing for the evidentiary hearing. But Judge Brooke Smith didn't want to do that because he wanted to try to catch up with Jeffrey Baldwin because Jackie Baldwin testified that Jeffrey put the safe in the house. But it didn't matter because Jeffrey put the safe in the house. Amy Ron put the safe in Jeffrey Baldwin's mother's house. It was eight safes, but the jury didn't know that, so they didn't get all the evidence, so they never could find a reasonable doubt to find Amy Ron guilty. But John Hunter said, what it is, these white bitches that's coming after this case, and I say bitches because their mother's is a bitch to me, trying to forge an indictment on my godson, Amy Ron, Solomon Muhammad, Ali Akbar, for some dumbass white boy? And the U.S. government trying to defraud the University of Pittsburgh, taking Dan Marino's five hundred million dollars estate, Dave Bazzulli's hundred million dollars estate, Jimbo Cole's hundred million dollars estate, Emo Board's fifty million dollars estate, and down the line, and Hugh Green and Ricky Jackson, the great minds, and Jerry Borowski, seven hundred million dollars swarming blue brain is going to work with the University of Pittsburgh with a five hundred million dollar endowment. And did these whiteies think that the University of Pittsburgh is listening to some white bullshit? And you got to go to Pitt Law School and the Penn State Law School and the University of Notre Dame. You're going to defraud all three law schools because you want to press Amy Ross' penis, make him feel like he got a urinate. You want to fo- force his stool. You want to force his legs to swell up. You want to defraud Lindell Montgomery out of Newcastle, PA, so she can't get her hundred million dollars a year from Chris Doman that he wore last. Of a pro sports where in the NFL and Tony Doman. Really? Do you really think John Guzman gives a fuck if you shake Amy Ross' head off? As long as Linnell Montgomery moved to her country, Kenny, because if she don't, she'd be a damn fool to stay here around these white bitches that try to murder her spouse, even if she didn't love him. Or if she loved him, it don't make a difference. I'm not letting them fuck Amy Ross around. Fuck the U.S. government, Third Circle Court of Appeals, the defrauding with these three false motions and whatever the hell they're doing. Take it to the Supreme Court. John Hudasek said.